Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a blue sparkly bead ring. It's very easy. Follow along step by step with me. Let's begin. Cut three lengths 16 centimeters long of 0.8 millimeter wire. My bead is 12 millimeters long and I've threaded it onto the middle wire. And then we're going to take the sparkly silver beads and thread five on each side. So on the outer wires, thread five on one side and five on the other. If you have smaller, tinier beads, then thread a bit more, a few more. But just, I think the point is to cover the length of the bead. So whatever length your bead is in the middle, then you're going to put the outer beads of the same length. Adjust your group of beads into the middle of the three wires. I've just eyeballed it, I'm not going to measure exactly. And then holding them firmly in with your thumb holding them all together, then we're going to twist that group of wires. And it does look pretty if you use one central wire as the straight wire and wrap the other two around it. It makes a nice pattern in itself. So twist all the way, not to the end. Uh, for a size 7 ring, I would say 4 centimeters of twist is enough. And then you're going to twist the other side as well. Just adjust your beads so that they're full, they right down at the end of the wires. You don't want any play here where they're going to run up and down the wire. And again, just to twist, twist the three wires together, central wire, the two outer wires, and it makes a pretty a core in the middle and the twisters on the outside. Just makes a nice pattern. And then tighten up with pliers if you need to, just to get that wire tight up against your bead group. Check that it's nice and straight and even. And then we're going to use the nylon hammer and just hammer it into place and then the metal hammer to mesh the, the twist together and set them all in shape. So you see, four centimeters of twist on each side. And then a few little tail wires. Now take your ring mandrel and wrap the bands, the whole entire ring, around your ring band at the size you need. I usually make a size seven and this is a size 7, so all the measurements are for that size. Straighten out your wires a little bit and bend them across, round and up to the top. There they are. This is such a versatile ring design that you could use any sort of bead here. A main central bead and then the pretty ones around it as a little halo to accentuate the color. I always try on as I'm going along just to make sure everything looks good. Now those little tails, you can also decide what you want to do with them, but I have taken the tails around the top of the band near the, the bead group, curl them around the band once or twice, and then curling them into a cute little curl to finish off the sides of the ring. It looks pretty and it adds some other dimension to the design. So curling each wire and curl them up so that they are flattish and they won't scratch or um, cause any irritation when you're wearing. A ring always has to be comfortable as well as gorgeous. On the other side, I'm also bending the tail wires around the band to join it in 
makes the whole structure strong as well. I always think of a ring design like a little story, and this little story has to all hold together and different strengths, different tensions, but it all keeps the ring strong. So twisting all the little tail wires up and putting them into a cute little curly design on each side of your main ring, uh, bead group. Just squeeze it in a little bit so it all fits nicely. Put it on the metal ring mandrel and with a metal hammer tap very gently next to those beads. You don't want to smash your central bead and then gently around just to set the shape and to put those little curls into place. They all just kind of nestle in together then, don't they? And we're trying it on and isn't that just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Perfectly lovely. Thank you for watching. Please take great care of yourselves. You are very special. Bye-bye.